A U.S. Army soldier who shot and killed an armed protester after driving into a Black Lives Matter demonstration in Texas last summer has been charged with murder, uh, Authority said Thursday. He has been charged with murder for defending himself in Austin, Texas. We'll get into it if you don't believe me. An, arm, an army soldier who shot and killed an armed protester after driving into a crowd demonstrating uh, against police violence in Texas capital last summer, Austin, has been indicted on murder charges, authorities said Thursday. Uh, Sergeant Daniel Perry, who was stationed at Fort Hood, was booked and released on $300,000 bail, said Christian Dark, a spokesperson for the Travis County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Travis County DA Jose Garza uh, seeks justice against the man who defended himself against Garrett Foster, pointed an AR-15 into his car. He also said fuck around and find out before getting shot and killed. Uh, my LTC course material is clean on stand your ground. Does that not apply in Austin? Uh, it's AK-47. Uh, what do you got out tonight? They don't let us march in the streets anymore, so got to practice some some of our rights. Do uh, you feel like you need to use it? Nah, I think the, uh, I mean, if I use it against the cops, I'm dead. And I think all the people that hate us and, you know, want to say shit to us are too big of uh, pussies to stop and actually do anything about it. So. Yeah. Why'd you start carrying? Well, our roommate got arrested and they stopped letting us march anywhere, so started carrying. Thanks. Yeah, you basically said fuck around and find out. Uh, to, but this is the statement from Travis County District Attorney's Office. Today, our office announced that a Travis County grand jury has returned indictments against Daniel Perry for the charges of murder and aggravated assault and death of Garrett Foster. The grand jury also returned one indictment for a misdemeanor count on deadly conduct. And you only presented one side of the story to the grand jury and again denied defensive evidence. Here is the statement from the defense. Of course, we are disappointed with the indictment against Sergeant Perry. Nevertheless, it is important to note that the standard of proof required for indictment is significantly less than the standard of proof required for conviction. Also, the district attorney's office is able to pick and choose the evidence it presents to the grand jury, and it is not required to tell the grand jury about any evidence favorable to the accused. In fact, in this case, the district attorney office refused to allow Mr. Perry's defense attorneys to make a written presentation to the grand jury considering Mr. Perry's case. This refusal is unusual in Texas and begs the question of why the district attorney's office would not allow this. We understand the political motivation of the district attorney. However, when this case is presented to a jury at trial and the jury gets to hear all the evidence instead of one-sided presentation, we have every confidence that Sergeant Perry will be acquitted. Sergeant Perry, again, simply asks that anyone who might want to engage in hindsight review an incident pictured themselves trapped in a car as a mass stranger raises an AK-47 in their direction and reflects upon what they might have done. A face with the split second decision he's facing that evening. Sergeant Perry's family has set up a crowdsourcing page on go get funding in order to assist with legal expenses. He will incur as a result of this decision to defend himself. This case will be an important important case related to the right to defend oneself from deadly force in the state of texas and as you can see garrett foster is pointing said gun he said he was carrying and you can see that is garrett foster he's pointing something which of course is the gun at this car you can you can see it anyone who's ever held a gun ever knows that is pointing a gun at a target if, you, if you've never held a gun, then that's understandable why you don't understand the context of this picture. But as Gary Foster holding, pointing a gun in his direction. But this is what you get in these uh, liberal cities. You're not allowed to defend yourself at all. It's the same thing with Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent. Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent. We can argue about it all you want. But he is innocent when you look at the evidence uh, pointed. And you watch every single video instead of just making baseless claims. Um, Sergeant Perry is probably going to get off because, you know, self-defense is a right in Texas and his, um, 
his uh, defense attorney wasn't even allowed to present any defensive evidence to, you know, help his uh, his client. So he's probably going to get off. But it's ridiculous that in these progressive cities, you are not allowed to protect yourself. You are not allowed to defend yourself and you're not allowed to, you know, speak out against uh, terrorist organizations like BLM and Antifa. You, uh, Garrett Foster was a part of Antifa and he was a part of that movement. Uh, Austin is synonymous, like every Democrat ranch shithole in progressive city and state. Uh, they do have a Antifa chapter. Most progressive cities have one um, because it is allowed. Left wing extremism is allowed in the U.S. But so much. It, but hey, if a right wing or center right person sneezes, it's called far right extremism, and they will be taken down. You know, you know it to be true. Uh, left wing extremism can go. Um, do whatever they want in impunity. But this is going to be a video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.